They want to hold on to this, but it's a one-point game. They get it out to Canavan. Canavan, will he take responsibility? Tries to move it quickly, and the wonder effort is coming in, and it's going surely over the bar. No, it drops short. It drops short. It doesn't quite make it. And the whistle goes, and Queen's have claimed a famous and dramatic victory here. Tiernan, what did that mean to you tonight to win that? Just a massive Jerome. Um, I suppose when the draw came out, Queen's versus Jordan Sign. Um, I think the last Queen's Jordan Sign game was actually Sigerson final here, 2007, and I think Queen's came out winners there too. So just once the date was confirmed, we put a big emphasis on on this fixture. So what was the talk in the build-up? Because there was a lot of publicity about this game, and there are a lot of people looking forward to it, and big crowd here tonight. Did you feel that sort of tension? A, definitely. Um, it was a bit of a it was electric before the game. Um, I suppose you know, Queen's stereotypically are the underdogs coming in against Jordan Sign, so we did talk about that, how we were written off, and I suppose that played into it, and then playing at home, a big factor too. I like the way you mentioned electric as well. Or a wee uh, <laughs> nod to the sponsors there as well. And it was an electric game tonight. It was terrific. And as they say as well, first-class rivals and you guys meeting each other. I mean, you must have been meeting the boys all week. I, well, round two could be in Thompson's or somewhere tonight. Maybe, or maybe further on uh, down the competition. But yeah, just the, the familiarity. And then even those boys are playing against club mates, against county mates, so it all adds to you. You're, you're maybe not friends for 60, 65 minutes there. And you say Queens aren't stereotypically maybe the favourites, but they really dug in there. You dug in there all the way through the game, and even when they got the goal, you came right up and got one. Yeah, and that's kind of what we had talked of, was a quick response, don't hang the heads. I suppose a lot of this Queens team um, are actually played together in freshers, so although maybe we're, we're thrown together in September, October, it is kind of like a a club team or a school team in a way there's a the familiarity there so you're you're playing for them on next to you and did you feel a little bit of responsibility as captain that you had to set the tone early and you had to drive your team forward hey not really i think um everyone <laughs> sean mccarthy there he got excited before the game so i thought i'd, I'd leave <laughs> leave him to it um but no i think everyone kind of felt it and everyone wanted to prove a point to, to themselves and, and ulster football that they Queen, queens are here <laughs> well they certainly are on that evidence tonight who do you think particularly stood up tonight and what were the key points in the game I, I think our the biggest one was our response after the goal if it had went five six seven minutes or ten minutes without that kind of response I, I don't know if he would have hung in there um, Rory Donnelly had a steady game centre half back a Luke Donnelly played very well very alive up front and Potty Purcell um, her our resident dub, <laughs> he came on there and made a big difference as well. Um, and Dan Higgins was a strong runner throughout too. So you're a proud Fermanagh man tonight with yeah. a great Queen's victory under your belt. What's the tradition for you or what's the connections for you? Uh, well, I suppose you said Fermanagh there. Um, maybe this past number of years there hasn't been a, a great Fermanagh representation in, in Sigerson football at all. Um, so it was good to see that there was two Fermanagh boys starting for Jordan Sign tonight. Uh, there's a few more on both panels as well, which maybe maybe isn't um, you know the usual or the norm. So it was good that way. Yeah.